Well, for those of us who think the cavalry is coming in November, including my, myself, the cavalry may even be coming to the state of Washington. Joining me now, Tiffany Smiley, who's a Republican candidate for the Senate in the state of Washington. Um, Tiffany, thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate it. You know, I, I'm reading stuff. Look, crime and inflation, two gigantic issues, as you know, uh, as you know very, very well. I would think, and tell me if I'm wrong, but this, the city of Seattle, now I know you're probably not going to carry Seattle, but, 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 Seattle has gone through so much crime disturbances. It's like, seriously, at one point was like a, you know, old Soviet Union, Soviet. I mean, that's what they were running it as. And they knocked off everything that was going on. Now, I assume memories linger. And so the other people in the state of Washington and outside of Seattle would want some law and order. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yes, I mean, and it's not just Seattle. It's trickled out into our smaller communities. It's in Aberdeen. It's in Yakima Valley. Um, the crime is still really, really bad, and it's having a massive economic effect. That's why I am launching my agenda for recovery and reform for Washington State, because we have to turn crisis into hope. That's why we have an opportunity to win this November. Patty Murray is tax and spend. You know, only career politicians think that this, this inflation reduction bill will actually solve inflation. We have small businesses, the middle class who are struggling right now, and they need hope. We have a plan. We need to rein in the IRS. Um, we need to ensure that we never pay workers to stay home again, and we need to cut taxes on the middle class. Um, crime's having a massive economic effect. Couple that with inflation, skyrocketing inflation. There's a lot of work to get done. Uh, Tiffany Smalley, has Senator Murray ever voted against Biden? Ever? And actually, I want to. I mean, 100% of the time. She's like the, I mean, she's the Joe Biden of Washington, isn't she? I mean, I know it's the female version, but isn't that right? I mean, basically. Absolutely. You know, Joe Biden and Patty Murray have a combined 80 years in government, and we are not any better for it. So I would encourage anyone, if you want to join us in holding Joe Biden and Patty Murray accountable for their failures, text WIN to 78608 and join us in this fight. This election is so important. Um, we have to. I'm deeply worried about the IRS. Um, you know, 87,000 um, IRS agents that Patty Murray and Joe Biden want to hire. Um, to put that into perspective, Perspective, the Seahawks Stadium holds 75,000 people. Um, so that is scary. And they're coming after you. They're coming after me. They're coming after our middle class. They're coming after our small businesses. We have to get this under control. How does the attack on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago affect your race? Well, look, I think I think families, um, individuals all over Washington state, Democrat and Republican, were deeply concerned. If our Department of Justice is being weaponized and used against us, used against a former president, that is deep. That is troubling. Um, so I'm talking to people all over Washington state who are saying, look, I am deeply concerned um, about that issue, because if they're going to do it to him, they'll do it to us. Isn't the same thing true, Tiffany? Uh, you mentioned the IRS a few moments ago. So I, I know the Justice Department is different than the IRS, but the fact remains, it's the same story. Uh, the IRS can come after you under the flimsiest of circumstances. Most of the time, they're wrong. They're always late. Nobody understands the tax code. So I don't, you know, these are very oppressive. I'd say, as Newt Gingrich puts it, these are big government social. These are command and control. You know, it's like government is running everything. What happened to freedom, Tiffany Smiley? Where's freedom? And there's got to be some freedom left in the state of Washington. There absolutely is, and that's why I know we can win, because we have the winning message. Um, you know, we need life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mm. Um, we need to make sure that small businesses are able to thrive. Um, you know, I look forward to ensuring that we permanently extend the 2017 tax cuts mm. for the middle class. That's important, and we can offset that by putting a, um, a permanent cap on the um, state um, salt tax deduction, mm -hmm. um, the state local salt tax, de tax deduction. And we, you know, that will prevent um, the richest in states that are the highest tax, like California, from lowering their tax bills. There's things that we can do right away. We need hope. 
Um, there is freedom loving Americans in Washington state. And that is why we will win in 2022. Patty Murray is a career politician who thinks stat tax and spend heading into a recession will solve the problem. We know that that is not true. Not in addition to that, you know, we need uh, to ensure free and fair trade. Um, agreements like USMCA were key and, and actually support nearly a million Washington jobs right mm. here in Washington state. Mm. We need to also protect um, Washington workers, uh, manufacturers, and farmers from unfair trade practices. These are the winning issues. This is why we will win in, in November. All right. Good luck, Ms. Tiffany Smiley. Good luck in the state of Washington. We appreciate you coming on the show. Thank but you.